Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today let's talk about Raptorium uh, and what's going on, what my plans are with it, and how I've been doing. So, right now I am back to mining Raptorium. I was on Monero Ocean, but I went over and I saw that the uh, difficulty rating on Raptorium dropped, and we're down about 5.7. And the price did drop. It was up to like two cents, 0.02. It did drop recently. But, but if you look at crypto, blammo. Oh, it's back up. It was at 40s. It's a sea of red. So whatever, it goes uh, with the territory of crypto. Crypto volatility can be good. In most cases, it's healthy. So you can buy low and, you know, build your, uh, build your uh, stack your Satoshis and uh, increase the uh, what you're holding. So I am mining Raptorium on the O11 data pool. I get a couple payouts now and then if we go over, I'm just clicking on all my stuff here. So I have uh, three beefy ones. I got three beefy Ryzen 9 3900s working at the rest of Ryzen 5s, a, uh, Ryzen 3s, but I got what I got and I'm not upset. I'm getting something. And that's what it's all about, using what you got and not going broke buying hardware. So I've been paid out about 3K and I'm still hashing or mining away on the O11 data, Raptorium pool, and it's getting dumped to my wallet. Then I heard something about, hey, what's this smart node stuff? So I went to Raptorium, you can go to their site and you can go to their documentation. And uh, there's a thing called smart nodes. I go, all right, let me, I heard about this for other coins and that. I got enough Raptorium maybe, not a lot, but, but enough. Let me go see if I can do this. So they have a whole doc thing. You can go and read through it. And, you know, you need two CPUs to get two gigabytes of RAM uh, and some other stuff, SSD, blah, blah, blah. They don't mention that it should be on Ubuntu. So you need a Linux setup. And that's all good. And that's all well and good. I went, watched their smart node setup video, which is helpful. He goes through and sets up a smart node on his Ubuntu uh, server. And then they also have automated scripts. You can go through it. I'm going through this one. Okay, okay, okay. Then I saw it. I watched a rabbit mining guy. He has a good channel. He mentioned the inode Zisa uh, smart node site. And I also went to the Discord on Raptorium, and I saw that mentioned as well. So I said, let's go over and see what this is all about. So I went over to inodez.com started to read do my own research and that's my underlying message to everybody i'm not a genius i'm mostly an idiot and i always tell people do your own research everything you listen to on uh, youtube or anywhere on the internet just do it for entertainment value or just take it as information something to put in your wheelhouse and then go do your own research on it you know not even trust but verify but listen and then go verify for yourself Anyway, that's, that's what I always tell people. Don't just blindly follow what people are telling you on YouTube. This is entertainment. It's not a financial advice. It's just what I do. And again, I got this from someone else. They said, go check it out. I checked out Smart Nodes. Went down that rabbit hole in the Raptorium site, like right here. And said, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, I can do all that stuff. No big deal. Then I saw in their Discord, someone mentioned they're using iNodeZ. And Rabbit Mining Guy mentioned it as well. So I went over to iNodeZ, looked into it. So here's, here's, my, um, here's my path to discovery. Just following the rabbit hole, you know, followed all the information. All right, so now I'm on inode Z and I'm going through it. Okay, you need your Gmail, use a Gmail, it's all for security. They wanna make sure it's all secure and safe. Uh, I think Discord is, they used to use Discord accounts. I would stay away from that, use Gmail. And you go in and I went in and you can read about it, a 6% fee is taken from earned re RTM rewards, not from your balance, but from the rewards you make to cover the fees. Uh, you pay nothing up front, that's okay, that's fair. You're paying for a service, you gotta expect that. So you got two X, two times weekly payments, rewards earned by smart nodes are paid weekly on Thursday at four universal time and Sundays at 1600 UTC always publicly verifiable so they give you all this stuff yeah so use your gmail account to log in as a new user and all you need now is 500 rtm i heard um 
it dropped from like four to five thousand down to five hundred. Uh, and then you can actually uh, compound and you can add uh, to your collateral two times a week after rewards are distributed. So you can contribute and then you can start compounding the rewards you get and have them put right back into the wallet, right? So that's what you do. It's kind of cool. Uh, I went through it. Uh, let's see, RTM shared a full smart note hosting. So I went in, I joined the beta. And when you join the beta, you go over, kablamo, and you get this. You get the Raptorian price. You can do 24 hours, seven day, 30 day. You can get you know, where it's at. It's kind of dipping now. Everything's dipping, so who cares, right? Give you the percentage. Just your basic market snapshot. You can go to the payments. I just did this today. I have no payments, obviously. My smart nodes, I have none yet because I just put money in. I just moved RTM from my Raptorian wallet into my holding address here on inode Z. You can look at the blockchain. This breaks out all the metrics. Uh, let's see, you got 438 smart nodes. Here's your ROI breakout, 0.11% daily ROI. 0.77% weekly, 3.29% monthly, and a 40% yearly ROI on the smart nodes. Pretty, in pretty interesting. I've, I saw this, I've heard about it, and now I'm going to try it just to prove to myself it may be a smart move. So here's my onboarding, and what I did, I went from my wallet, this is my Raptorium wallet, I moved over most of what I had in my wallet, I had almost 4,000. I moved it over to my inode Z onboarding balance wallet. And what is that? All right, what is that? Go over here to the hamburger menu, upper left. Kablamo, Rocco Taco dashboard, and click on addresses. Here is your address they give you. This is your special address. You can uh, send to this, your Raptorum to get started. Like it says, you need 500 to start. And then after that, you can just keep adding whatever you get. And by that, you can actually use this address as your Raptorian mining address. So as you're mining using XM rig on O11 data, whatever site polling you're using, whatever you use, whatever mining software you use, CPU miner, GR, you just can use this onboarding address, inode Z onboarding address, which is your personal address, and it'll dump all the uh, RTM mine to this address. So then you don't have to go an extra hop. Like right now I'm mining here and, and Olaveda is, is still new in a way, they're young. So they dump you out every 20 or 30 RTM. It gets a little annoying. I do like Flockpool because you can set the minimum payout. That's my only beef with O11 data, but oh well, I can live with it. So I can now mine directly to the inode Z onboarding address. And I might try that with a couple of my CPU rig just to make sure it all works first. And when I moved over to my uh, onboarding address here, I only moved like 50 RTM just to make sure it went first because you have to get at least eight approvals. Let's go look at that again. Let's say the first one I did, um, oh, I did 500, sorry. If you click on it, oh, I went through 30 confirmations. So once I got about eight confirmations, and it hit nine or so, then I noticed maybe about five or 10 minutes later, the balance appeared here. And I said, kablamo, love it. Okay, good. That's all well and good, I'm happy now. And then if I go back to the hamburger menu, go to dashboard, go to my stats, I can see my onboarding balance. So now it's gonna be there holding until it gets added to a smart node. So then you go down to settings. I'm not gonna do any withdrawals because I haven't made anything yet. This is all fresh and new. Now I'm gonna go over to settings. Here is where you set your stuff up if you want to. I set my public name for my mining channel. I set my favorite currency, which is RTM by default. It was USD. And then down here, most of these were checked. I unchecked everything except RTM and USD. And I do the compound staking. Why? 
automatically send a percentage of your payouts reward to your personal address for compound staking. So what I want to do, it's almost like dividends. I want to reinvest my dividends and buy more RTM. So as I get those rewards on this uh, smart nodes mining pool, right? The smart node, I just want to roll those back in. And why do I want to do that versus having to go out to a wallet and vice versa? Well, this is one reason, you know me, I hate fees. So when I did this, when I moved in my initial RTM into my onboarding address, there's a fee. Can you see that? I hate fees. So they're already eating away my RTM. It, even just to move between wallets, as you know, you pay the fee. So if you can cut down on fees, that's always a good thing because they add up. They add up a lot sometimes. So I'm going to compound and there's two ways to cut down on fees. Like I said, you can um, do the compounding. I'm going to do 100%. And uh, let's see, the other way is go to the addresses. So you can compound your rewards and then you can also mine to your onboarding address, the iNodeZ onboarding address. Pretty painless, right? This was very easy to set up. I like it. It wasn't digging for information. Very intuitive, good site. And I can see why people are talking about it versus going the Raptorium smart node approach yourself. You can do it. I'm not going to do that right now. I don't, I don't want to jump through all this Linux stuff right now. I'm sure I can do it, but when I just saw I can go to inode Z and do it, why not? Let's give this a shot for a few months and see how it turns out. So one other thing is uh, they have this security mechanism they added to make it extra secure. So if you want to make any changes to your settings, any changes to your wallet address, anything on here you want to change, you have to request an unlock by using your Gmail to create your account. It'll then send an email to say, hey, you request an unlock and it's good for 10 minutes to make changes. So you have 10 minutes to make your changes, save it, and you can say lock it again. It's almost like locking your credit. You can unlock your credit history, your uh, credit information on your the big three, and then lock it again. It's just an, it's just like you're locking the vault. It's kind of nice. They added that just to give people more uh, sense of security, and because I think there's been some issues out there with the Discord accounts and that. And I hate when I hear that. But nothing on this. It's just the Discord. So that's why I use Gmail. You get a you submit the request to unlock. You get that in your email. You say yeah, let's rock. And you got 10 minutes to make your changes. Boom, you're done. So as you can see, I went in and changed my stuff. And you can only unlock it in the previous, you know, you can't, you get 12 hour shots, right? I, lo I unlocked it, made my changes within 10 minutes and locked it again. Now I have to wait for the next 12 hours to make any more changes. So have a plan when you're going to make any changes, make a list of what you want to change. You got 10 minutes to change the stuff, boom, do it, and then lock it and get out. And all I did was change the, uh, public name under settings and I changed my currency and this was already checked compound staking was already checked checked and this was already set to 100% so I'm ready to rock let's go to user activity it's my login okay so what else pretty straightforward go to my dashboard there's what I got there. Now I'm just gonna wait now. I got no smart nodes yet because I just added this within the past hour. Here's my stats. So it's gonna take my onboarding balance and it's gonna roll it into a smart node and then I'll start getting rewards. Was it twice a week? I can't remember what I read earlier. And then all those rewards are gonna go into my um, onboarding wallet since I'm compounding. And then when they're available to get put into the smart node, kablamo, it's just going to keep going, compounding, compounding. Look up what Einstein's, whoops, look up what Einstein said about compounding. It's a, it's a mystery of the world. It's the greatest thing ever. So you want to always compound, whether you're doing dividend stocks or even anything with financial. Compounding is the best thing for you. It's the best way to get wealthy. One of the best ways. All right, so there you go. I'm using inode Z now as of today. Again, as I say, do your own research. People like me or other YouTubers mention stuff. Go on, try it. You know, it's not gonna. You know, do your own due diligence. Like I said, I went to the went to Raptorium first, 
I said, eh, I don't really want to spend my day setting up on my own smart nodes. So then I heard about iNode Z, went over here and went, okay, all right, let's give this a shot. You get two times weekly payments, all right, they compound it. Then I went and I signed up, I already have a Gmail, Blamo, set up, set up my account. It was easy to move over my um, balance. I don't have much. And then my next step is going to be to take my uh, onboarding address and take one or two rigs that I'm mining to an 011 data. And I'm going to set this address and see if it actually will mine and verify. I'm sure it will. It's going to mine my Raptorium and pay out to that address right here on iNode Z. And that's going to cut down on an extra step where I don't have to go from my Raptorium wallet to the uh, onboarding wallet in iNode and pay that transaction fee. So there you go, guys. What do you think? This is I'm an idiot and I was able to do this. And now I'm just going to sit back and let this run for a month or two and keep adding to it. Because if I can grow my RTM in a way passively while mining as well, that's a plus, that's a win, especially in a down market. Since we're in bear country, baby, look at that, 41.39, 41.7, 3,000 on ETH. That's where we're at now, so um, the goal is to passive, passive the crap out of your crypto as you can. And using this iNode Z smart node is a great way to do it. I also use Voyager, and Voyager pays me rewards and interest on all my crypto. Uh, USDC, stablecoin, you get like 9.5%. Where can you match that anywhere? Huh, no, nah, and nowhere. And I also use BlockFi, and I get interest on that, my holdings in BlockFi, as well as, well as I have the BlockFi Visa card. All that stuff's in my description below if you want to sign up. You win, I win, it's affiliation link. And uh, it's a good way to get started. You get paid in crypto when you use your credit card. So if you're buying my, if you're buying mining equipment, spending thousands on GPUs and that and motherboards and all this stuff, you're going to earn rewards and those rewards are going to be in crypto. The rewards get dumped into your BlockFi account and then you get interest on that reward as well. It's great. And BlockFi has the same thing. I mean, um, Voyager is the same thing, but it's a debit card. And But then you also get interest on any mine coins. You move to those BlockFi or Voyager. It's beautiful. Passive income, man. That's what it's all about. All right, guys, that is all I have. Next steps are staring at my dashboard. I could, and um, yeah, staring at my dashboard. And uh, this balance will then get moved into a smart node and start churning. I love it. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, what success you've had with this. I'm sure a lot of people are way ahead of the curve on this. I'm new to it. And I like making these videos because it helps me to talk it out kind of verify the steps I've done. And by talking it out, it makes me like brainstorm. Is this really a good thing to do? Uh, versus just not talking out, right? I like talking things out, brainstorming. And so far it makes perfect sense. It's easy, the site's clean. Uh, I like the extra security levels. It was easy to move the Raptorium. Compounding and uh, to, the, to the onboarding address is awesome. And also being able to mine to that onboarding address is a plus. So far, it's a massive win. I just want to now see what kind of profits or rewards I get each week, and we'll go for there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Go out and have fun.